Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Completion day is always a time of rejoicing, for it marks the conclusion of an educational journey and the commencement of another more uncertain and more difficult part of man's quest for a better life and future. Truly, today signifies the culmination of many years of hard work in the relentless pursuit of knowledge. Knowledge that will enable a person to embrace opportunities and take on challenges with clear vision and purpose. Welcome to this historic occasion as we celebrate the first virtual moving up ceremony of the Angeles City Science High School with the theme, Sulong Edukalidad, Championing the Nation's Future. We would like to request everyone to stand and take pride in the singing of our national anthem, which will be followed by the offering of praises and thanksgiving to the Almighty One, to be led by Glenard Vaughn M. Torres. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Father, we humbly thank you for everyone that is here with us today. Compassionate and gracious God, we have learned and achieved so much through your wondrous opportunities and gifts. Today, we celebrate each and every mover's hard-earned success. At this time, we face a new normal a new world of learnings to strive for. We become certain to make it despite this pandemic that threatens us. You are a great God who lets us push through our goals and aspirations. No one has escaped from the fears, uncertainties, and all the anxieties caused by COVID-19. Fellow movers, we know that it feels a bit defeating to not be able to have a traditional moving up ceremony. But things stop for reasons. And to us students, no reasons prevail, not even this pandemic, to refrain us from learning. 
We pray that we continue to learn and strive for academic excellence. Today and in the future, as we take on different paths in senior high school. May the almighty power of the Lord touch us. We cry unto you, O God, to end this crisis, set us free, and bless us a safe, normal life and an enjoyable and successful future. All this we ask through your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please remain standing for the singing of the Dep Ed Regional Hymn and the Dep Ed Angeles City Hymn. John B. Flores, the student who ranked second among the completers, will now deliver his welcome remarks. 
Nora Roberts, an American author, once said, and I quote, If you don't go after what you want, you'll never have it. If you don't ask, the answer is always no. If you don't step forward, you're always in the same place. To our highly respected and beloved school principal, Ma'am Kazarina L. David, to the hard-working teachers of Angeles City Science High School, fellow students, friends, parents, ladies and gentlemen, a pleasant day to all of you. This is indeed a very special moment in our lives as we finally reap the fruits of our labor. It may not be the usual moving up ceremony which we always look forward to. However, we still have to be thankful that our efforts and achievements will be recognized. Indeed, we live in a VUCA world. This is a volatile, uncertain, complex, and ambiguous world. Who would thought that graduation, moving up ceremonies, and other activities would just be done virtually? But despite the complexities, we must grab every opportunity to be better and make ourselves relevant in this VUCA world. As we gather virtually to celebrate this year's Moving Up Ceremony, let us reflect on this year's theme, Sulong Edukalidad, Championing the Nation's Future. Truly, amidst this pandemic, we should never stop achieving and dreaming. Let us look at life more positively and move forward to be the champions that we want to be. As we step forward to a more challenging chapter of our journey in high school, may we never forget all the challenges that we have encountered in our four years in the junior high school, which have molded us to be strong, resilient, and determined. We should also remember that success can never be attained without the very people who walk with us in every step of the way. Thank you, our dear parents, for being the wind beneath our wings. To our second parents, our dear teachers, we salute you for your hard work and for guiding us in this journey. And to our Almighty God, our Creator and safe refuge, we offer back the highest glory and honor to you, Lord. My dear batchmates, may we always be inspired with the lines of the famous song, I Believe I Can Fly. Let us keep on soaring high. Let us all be the champions that we want to be and overcome the challenges and hurdles as we thread our next journey. Remember, our nation awaits us. Once again, welcome and good day. Without further delay, we shall now move to the highlight of this celebration, the presentation and awarding of the students who have successfully completed the requirements for junior high school. We begin with the class of grade 10 Haley to be presented by yours truly, Mrs. Sandy Fatima Siniklat, the class advisor. Andrew Q. Balilu, with honors. Benedict Alwin M. Bassi, with honors. Jakes Ulrich P. Bondo, with honors. Gerald Carlo Y. Briones, with honors. Tristan L. Katap, with honors. Matthew Ishmael J. David Ethan Uriel P. De Los Santos Donald Joshua N. De Gracias Uelf R. Flores with honors Rafael Victor S. Hernandez with honors Ray Lorenzo A. Lagasca with honors. Kian Kyle C. Laksamana, with honors. Christian D. Macalino, with honors. Carl Luis C. Maninang, with honors. William Angelo G. Pangilinan, with honors. Joaquin D. Santos, with honors. Alan Joseph C. Shaponko with honors. Ralph Martin P. Tiopaco. Aji A. Deloria. Asher Michael B. Virai with honors. Kyla May Q. Baggy with honors. Angela Isabel A. Batul with honors. Dorothy Ann C. Bautista, with honors. 
Trisha Emeline C. Bilguera Fiona Arcel R. Demepandan Helena Kirsten S. Dizon with honors Anastasia T. Gerlan with honors Yuki Isabel V. Horikawa with honors Erika Joy M. Lacanlale with honors Jian Stephanie B. Lalu with honors Kiara Maris B. Laksamana with honors Sam Germain M. Laksamana with honors Eileen F. Miklat with honors Lara Y. Kinsai with honors Christiana Meg R. Ramos with honors Myra Sandra Crescet L. Rodriguez with honors Clarice Jean M. Santos with honors Maria Salve Isabel V. Totaan with honors and Genviv Ayasha Mary Louise T. T. with honors Ms. Karen Christine V. Henson will now present the completers and awardees of Grade 10 Hawking. The completers of 10 Hawking, Jan Raven D. Alianige, Leadership Awardee with High Honors, Jorgen Aquiles S. Atienza with High Honors, Jabez M. Ison with High Honors, Christoph Lee Jan B. Ascuna, a recipient of outstanding performance in the field of science with high honors. Yul Vince M. David with high honors. Arvin Jan B. Flores, leadership awardee, also a recipient of outstanding performance in the field of science, Aralin Panlipunan, and with highest honors. Eligio Jose M. Gaja with high honors. JC M. Guzman with high honors. Bench L. Lindo with honors. Christian Antonio C. Magno with high honors. Justin Carlo M. Miranda, leadership awardee and with high honors. Gadwin C. Prim with high honors. Zylas Timothy H. Reyes with high honors. Jan Kane C. Rivera, recipient of outstanding performance in the field of mathematics and with high honors. Joshua Rog D. Sarmiento with honors. Yoj M. Shapenko with high honors. Leonard Von M. Torres, a recipient of outstanding performance in the field of communication arts and with highest honors. Altin T. Valiente, with honors. Arens Jaire T. Yumu, with high honors. Aliana May P. Eisen, with high honors. Reg Luis D. Diaz, with high honors. Katleya Jeline D. Carillon with high honors. Danica Reg J. Carton with high honors. Trisha May D. Kayanan with high honors. Rinceli Marie R. Cortez with high honors. Kyla Natalie C. Dago with high honors. Monella May D. Due, a recipient of outstanding performance in the field of science and with high honors. Ana Sofia C. Garcia, with high honors. Anisa Vian P. Lyson, with high honors. Janela P. Liku, with high honors. Ea P. Mercado, a recipient of outstanding performance in the field of science, communication arts, and with highest honors. Gaela Kiana P. Miguel, leadership awardee, a recipient of outstanding performance in the field of science, Araling Panlipunan, Communication Arts. She also bestowed the Carmelo Lasating Jr.'s Medal of Excellence. 
and with high honors, Angela Shaina Oliva, Leadership Awardee and with high honors, Laika M. Rafanan, a recipient of outstanding performance in the field of science and with high honors, Queenie Ann M. Reyes, Leadership Awardee and with high honors, Bianca Luis Silva, with high honors, Jensel A. Singian, with high honors, Jennifer N. Bitug, with high honors, and Renoa Iris C. Bitug, with high honors. Grade 10 Advisor, Mrs. Romina C. Kilia, will now present the completers and awardees of Grade 10 Herschel. The completers of 10 Herschel. James Patrick M. Batongbakal With Honors Joaquin Inigo A. Cruz With Honors Terence D. Cusi With Honors Mark Lawrence C. David With Honors Third Emil C. David Jose Arcadio C. De Guzman with honors, Fedimore Lance P. Dizon, Sean Carl S. Garcia, with honors, Nick Gabriel Gaza, with honors, Mako Aiden D. Manaloto, with honors, Floyd Miko D. Medina, with honors, Carlos Nathaniel V. Morales, Kim Nikolai R. Pamintuan Gian Kurt A. Panlaki With Honors Sivan Dave S. Paragas With Honors Lance Jason P. Pare With Honors Remil Jan D. Pineda With Honors John Michael D. Policarpio With Honors Jerome F. Vasquez with honors Sarina May C. Aguarin with honors Bianca V. Basilio with honors Marielle R. Buan with honors Cyril Faith Y. Castaneda with honors Jamiel A. Cortez with honors Giona Lisette B. Deñola, with honors. Ira Camille M. Duran, with honors. Jasmine J. G. Lapus, with honors. Patricia Nicole T. Makahindog, with honors. Mina Hermione S. Morales, with honors. Erin Constance Naomi T. Mosuela, with honors. Regilin M. Navarro, with honors. Erica Joyce L. Pineda. Chloe Julian C. Reyes, with honors. Kate Aliana S. Sampang, with honors. Alessandra Rafael G. Tayag, with high honors. Jenalyn S. Tiglao, with high honors. Mariel Camille J. Tuason, with honors. And Anna Gabriela G. Vitu, with honors. The Grade 10 Hubble Completers and Awardees will be presented by their advisor, Mrs. Leslie A. Angeles. The Completers of 10 Hubble. Jerwin Ram C. Alfonso Angel R. Balatbat With Honors Christian Clyde B. Casanya With Honors Ethan M. Katangal With Honors Jads Clarence G. David With Honors Benjamin Marco T. Del Rosario R.D. Leon Rafael T. Dizon, a recipient of Outstanding Performance in Communication Arts, with honors. John Rainier G. Garcia, John Dominic C. Gutierrez, 
with honors. Rafael Alan Lester M. Lacanlale Roberto Gabriel G. Liwanag with honors. Camilo Darren S. Malang with honors. Levi Mio M. Maliari Angel Gabriel P. Manyo with honors. Mark Daniel R. Pangilinan Dovel Serrano Renz G. Tanglao with honors. Jimwell L. Valdez with honors. Randel Angelo L. Yumul with honors. Julia Adriana D. Abasolo Christian Jean S. Calaguas with honors. Tricia Ann P. Calbang with honors. Katrina Rain J. Kalilu with honors. Amy Colleen S. Castro. Mariela Jasmine P. Constantino with high honors. Lady Mary Felicity J. Daguay with honors. Kathleen Joy L. Dizon with honors. Anna Gabriel P. Donaire with honors. Danes Pearl M. Enriquez with honors. Isabel G. Gonzalez with honors. Aisha Sarina D. Guevara with honors. Kelsey G. Lagonero with honors. Shaira Janelle M. Lumibaw with high honors. Maxine Grace A. Manzano with honors. Maxine M. Reyes with honors. Sophia Felicity C. Sangalang with honors. Maria Kayla C. Torres with honors. And Alyosha B. Trinidad with honors. It is time to listen to the speech of the student who excelled the most. With pride and honor, please welcome Bea P. Mercado in her academic excellence address. To the class of 2020, our dear parents, faculty, the administrative staff, and our ever supportive principal, a pleasant morning to all of you. To begin, I would like to congratulate all my fellow completers. All these intervening years, I'm sure that we've all been looking forward to this occasion to celebrate the culmination of all our efforts. But today, I know that all of us have mixed feelings of delight and sorrow. We are delighted because after the seemingly endless homework, quizzes, performances, research defenses, and stress, we managed to excel through our relentless efforts, passion, and with the beacon of one another. On the other hand, we may easily feel buried by our circumstances. I know that most of you feel the same sadness I do as everything changed in just a snap. Our daily routine may it be attending school, going to work, eating out with family, bonding with friends, or even attending masses are now things that are quite impractical to do during this time of a pandemic. We may not have expected this kind of finale, but we must stay optimistic to cope with the new normal, and we must realize that the challenges that have been piled upon us are not meant to bury, but to plant us in a way that will allow us to grow and prosper into whom we are meant to be. And at this point of time, be with me as I commemorate and recognize the efforts of those who have helped us in any sort of way. To our dearest teachers, you have done more than words can express. You cater to us students who need knowledge, understanding, and love. We salute all of you for your dedication in your profession to give us the wisdom and proper values that will certainly help us in whatever lies ahead of us. To our beloved parents and families, the true and strong foundation of who and what we are now, we are grateful for all of you. You continuously strengthened and inspired us, and without this, we would have never come to reach this moment. To our classmates and friends, we appreciate you for making this journey bearable despite all the hardships. 
You deserve the acknowledgement for making all the sacrifices worthwhile and for making every school day a blast. And last, but certainly not the least, thank you to our Almighty Father, the beginning and end of all things. You are the greatest foundation of all our inspiration, courage, and hard work. All the glory is offered back in your name. A new beginning might seem far away with everything that is going on, but at the end of the day, we are the ones behind the steering wheel, we paint our own picture, so we should be able to make endless possibilities come true. Once again, congratulations to the class of 2020 and God bless us all. At this point, let us take time to listen to the messages for the completers of Batch 2019-2020. A blessed day, everyone. I am honored and privileged to congratulate all the graduates and awardees of today's event. It is truly remarkable that amidst this COVID-19 pandemic, all of you outstand and made yourself a year wiser and bolder. Today, above all the other students, you will reap what you saw, completion and honors for all your sacrifices. May this message of recognition and congratulation bring motivation to all of you to be a better person for yourself, your family, to the society, and for God. To our dear principal, faculty, and staff, thank you for bringing our students to heights. To all the guardians and parents like me, let us continue to be their guide, their inspiration, and the discipline throughout their journey. Again, in behalf of our fellow MPTA officers, graduates, and awardees, Congratulations for a job well done. Stay safe and soar high. With love, pride, and confidence, I would like to congratulate all the completers of school year 2019-2020. It is indeed a challenging school year which marks inversely all over the world due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Amidst the tons of challenges being encountered every day, we remained faithful and maintained our calmness as we rely to God's greater provision, not only for our family, but also to our fellow men. It is a boundless stint to express our gratitude to the people behind your success, your teachers, and of course, to your parents, who gave their endless love and support. A simple thank you will suffice all their efforts for honing you as the best person you are to be. Every trial and challenge that the country experiences must be taken as a great opportunity to enlighten our minds to what really matters most in our lives. This greatly ascertains that every Aksai student is resilient, responsible, geared with determination, and has a strong faith to God for making it possible to be part of this very meaningful virtual moving up ceremony. You are beginning to put into practice the knowledge acquired all the years devoted to make it on your own special event, your completion ceremony. May this day leave a mark in our hearts that we will forever be grateful for. Again, my heartfelt congratulations as you soar high to the next chapter of your life. Great day! To all our completers and graduates for school year 2019-2020. First, I would like to congratulate you for your sterling achievement of finishing this school year. Indeed, it's an achievement that you should be proud of because it's not easy to go from one grade level to another. You have planted the good seeds of patience, dedication, and perseverance 
so you are now about to receive your just rewards. But usually, whenever we have our moving up ceremonies and graduation rites, we often hear that this is not the end of everything. That's right, because as you end another great level, you have to start another one. So I challenge you to continue to dream, pursuing your dreams, because in this particular life, your dreams will propel you to the world of wonder, amazement, and achievement. As you go from one great level to another, you have to arm yourself with a lot of values. The first will be the core values that DepEd had instilled with you. And these are pagiging, makajos, makatao, makakalikasan, at makapansa. But aside from these core values, as you continue pursuing your dreams, you have to arm yourself with three Ps. Not four Ps, okay? But three Ps. What are these three Ps? I mentioned the first one a while ago, which is patience. We have an old adage or saying that runs this way. Kapag may tiyaga, may nilaga. The truth of this saying still rings loud and clear up to this very day. When you go from one great level to another, you must arm yourselves with a lot of patience. There will be times when patience wears off, but you must continue because if you stop, that will be the end of your dreams. If you are patient, you will not give up that easily, then you will be surprised because at the end, your dreams are already within your reach. The second P is perseverance. There are times wherein your patience will be tested. You are about to give up. You are about to say, I cannot study anymore. I will not go on. There are a lot of problems that I encounter. But you see, these will be the times wherein your perseverance will see you through. These are the times wherein you will try your best not to give up. Against all odds, you will stand up and still continue studying so that your dreams will not be impossible. You will tell yourselves that if I will give up, what will happen to my future? You always think that when you persevere against all odds, there will be just rewards in the end. And the last P that you should never forget is prayer. There will be people who will belittle your dreams. There will be people who will tell you, Ah, hindi mo kaya yan. There will be people who will tell you, Ay, hanggang dyan ka na lang. Do not allow these people to ruin your vision for yourself. Instead of being discouraged, you pray. You pray for these people. You pray for God's guidance. You pray for God's wisdom. You pray for God's protection. And you will not miss the way. Through prayers, you will be patient. Through prayers, you will persevere against all odds. And through prayers, you will achieve your dreams. You will taste success and you will return all the glory to our Almighty Father who had been the master planner of everything in achieving your dreams. So my dear completers and graduates, dare to dream. Be patient, be persevering, and arm yourselves with prayer. As I always say to my students when I was a teacher, dreams will always be our propelling guide to success. Dream big dreams, and as you dream, you shall become. Again, my congratulations to everyone. God bless you on the next phase of your journey.
I would like to convey my sincere congratulations to our competitors and graduates of school year 2019-2020. While we are in the midst of challenging times affecting our community, both locally and globally, let not this hinder us from celebrating your achievement and treasuring this milestone spawned out of your utmost diligence, fervor, and hard work. This moment also calls you to cherish the incessant support and care of your parents, teachers, and other people who will help you succeed and reach this far. This year's team, Sulong Edukalidad, championing the nation's future, embodies the current tribal endeavor of the Department of Education, where it responds to the challenge to shift from access to quality education. This is the present battle cry of the department as it seeks to address the gaps and problems that resulted in the low proficiency levels of our students based on national and international assessments. Sulong Edukalidad not only aims to improve our country's ranking and performance, but more importantly, it intends to establish the needed key reforms in basic education to ensure that our learners will achieve their full potential amidst the rapidly changing world. With the learners at the center of Sulong Edukalidad, it is symbolized by a kite, which represents the four core components that include the K-12 curriculum review and update, improving the learning environment, teachers upscaling and reskilling, and engagement of stakeholders for support and collaboration. Armed with the unceasing commitment of the department to respond to the progressive learning environment of our present and future learners, Sulong Edukalidad steers the progressive reforms to globalize the quality of basic education in our country. With the kite used as symbol of hope, Sulong Edukalidad signifies our ultimate goal to rise above these challenges in basic education and help our learners fly high and reach their dreams. Congratulations once again and keep aiming high. Sa ngalan ng Department of Education, ang ating mga opisyales, members ng Executive Committee, members ng uh, ANCOM, ang Management Committee, saan naroroon ang mga Regional Directors at mga Superintendents, uh, mga Supervisors, ating mga Central Office Directors, at uh, pinaka-importante, mga Principals sa mga Teachers, kami lahat ay tuwang-tuwa na natapos na rin ninyo ang mga uh, pangangailangan para magiging considered na kayo na graduates of class 2020. Uh, kayo ay isa-isa kong kinokongratulate. Uh, sayang hindi ko naman kayo pwedeng maka-shake hands o pwedeng mangitian ng personal pero uh, yung ating uh, magandang uh, asal, yung ating magandang uh, pagtingin sa isa't isa sa inyo, nandoon pa rin. At saka, tuwan-tuwa kami talaga, lalo na ako. Para sa akin, ang graduation ay isa sa pinaka masigla, pinaka masaya na okasyon sa buhay ng isang uh, learner o isang um, estudyante. Pero pinakamasaya din yan para sa teacher. Pinakamasaya yan sa lahat ng administrators dahil mayroon na namang graduating class na nakakatapos. Uh, kayo ay very special. Special kayo sa parents ninyo. Special kayo sa mga friends, sa mga teachers ninyo, sa community. Special na special kayo, each and every one of you. But you are also special in a different way because you are graduating at the time of COVID-19. Siguro pag magiging ganap na kayong uh, uh, citizen ng Pilipinas o lumaki na kayo, 
uh, tumanda na kayo, sasabihin ninyo ako ay nag-graduate sa panahon ng coronavirus. Ang pag-graduate ninyo ngayon ay ibang-iba sa pag-graduate ng mga nakauna sa inyo or maybe sa susunod sa inyo. Dahil ito ngayon ay panahon ng coronavirus, so mga adjustments ang ginagawa natin. Hindi pwede tayong magtipon-tipon, hindi pwedeng magkita-kita kayo ng mga parents ng classmates uh, ninyo, mga barkada, mga yaya, lolo, lola, at mga parents and teachers. Hindi pwedeng mag-ipon-ipon kayo sa isang lugar at this time. Pero marami namang ibang paraan na kayo ay babatiin at para ma-celebrate ninyo itong special na occasion na ito. Uh, ang iba sa inyo ay magkaroon ng virtual graduation tulad ng sa Davao. Uh, congratulations sa inyo. Ang iba naman siguro maghintay kung mayroon ng uh, mas um, friendlier uh, environment, mas friendlier circumstances. At saka, hindi lang ito nangyari sa panahong ito dahil sa COVID. May mga uh, karanasan din ang DepEd. May karanasan din ang ating mga universidad kung saan napopostpone, napagpaliban ang graduation. Uh, sa panahon ng mga lola at lolo ninyo, napagpaliban ang graduation dahil yung panahon nyo ng gera. At saka mayroon talaga ng tunay na kalaban na nagdi-disrupt ng ating mga activities. So at that time, yung mga estudyante, hindi sila nakagraduate. Mayroon namang uh, instance na mayroong malaking mga disasters, kaya napopostpone din ang graduation. Kagaya nung nangyari minsan sa UP, dahil napakatindi yung bagyo na tumama sa sa Manila, sa Central uh, Luzon at sa kaibang bahagi ng uh, Luzon at ang UP hindi nakapagpatuloy sa kanyang graduation. So, ang nangyari, the next na lang ng registrar ang mga estudyante na ikaw ay graduado na. Dadating din ang panahon siguro kung kagustuhan ng inyong mga parents o kagustuhan ng inyong mga teachers or administrators na magkaroon din kayo ng graduation tulad ng dati. Pero ang importante ay kayo ay graduado na. Kayo ay pumasa. Kayo ay dumanas sa mahirap na pamamaraan, mga eksamen, mga ratings, na grado na binigay ng mga teachers ninyo para kayo makonsider talaga na graduate. Ano kaya ang payo na maibigay ko sa inyo sa panahong ito ng COVID-19? Kasi kaiba nga ang sitwasyon ninyo ngayon. Para sa mga elementary school students na mag-move up to, to junior high school, eh, ibang-iba na ang mapuntahan ninyo sa high school. Hindi na yung araw-araw gigisingin kayo, magdala kayo ng baon, uh, at saka makikita ninyo teachers ninyo, at saka yung mga libro, mahahawakan ninyo, mahihipo ninyo. Uh, iba na ang uh, pamamaraan dahil uh, ang gagamitin ICT, gagamitin yung mga learning platforms kagaya ng DepEd Commons, ang gagamitin ay ang mga computer, ang tablet, television, at sa radyo para matuto kayo depende kung anong sitwasyon sa inyong lugar. Para naman sa junior high school na pupunta sa senior high school, baka matuwa kayo kasi nung na-introduce ang senior high school, maraming mga komentaryo, feedback galing sa parents ninyo, galing sa mga eksperto, na sobrang dami yung subjects. Ngayon, na-reduce na natin yung subjects, lalo na sa senior high school at saka sa iba't ibang baitang. No? So sa junior high school, kayong nag-step kayong nag, uh, up na uh, ang magiging subjects ninyo sa senior high school 
uh, sobrang kunti kaysa dati. Pero hindi ibig sabihin na kunti lang ang malalaman ninyo. Kasi karamihan malalaman din ninyo, marami kayong matutunan sa bahay ninyo, sa pag-aaral ninyo sa learning platforms, at saka sa tulong ng inyong mga magulang, sa inyong lolo at lola, inyong mga mentors sa bahay at saka sa inyong mga, yung sinasabi kong mga tahanan ninyo. So, lesser ang learning competencies para sa senior high school at saka sa ibang grado, pero siguro mas malalim ang matutunan ninyo. Kasi ang pangangailangan ngayon, ma-elementary ka, ma-junior high school ka, o magiging uh, senior high school ka, napapasok na sa universidad, ang pinaka-importante ay yung sinasabi sa batas na critical thinking. Kung may mga problema, kung may mga challenges, kailangan matuto tayo na ito ay ma-analyze, mapag-isipan ng rational, yung sinasabi ito, natin ginagamit ang logic, ginagamit ang analysis, ang kailangan yung collaboration, makipagtulungan ka sa mga classmates mo, sa parents mo, kailangan ng communication, hindi pwede na uh, ikaw lang mag-isa mag-aaral, magko-communicate ka palagi, but siguro yung sinasabi natin na virtual. Pero ang importante para sa akin, wala yan sa batas, wala yan sa mga libro siguro. Ang importante para sa inyo, sa junior high na magiging senior, sa senior na magiging university, o pupunta sa mga vocational training na nagugustuhan ninyo, eh, ang magiging courageous, magiging brave. Uh, huwag kayong matakot dahil ang mundo na pinupuntahan ninyo ay ibang-iba sa nasanayan ninyo. Hindi naman kayo pababayaan ng inyong mga school, hindi kayo pababayaan mga teachers, hindi naman kayo pababayaan ng ating government na nagbibigay sa atin ng mga paaralan galing sa buwis ng ating mga magulang, at hindi naman kayo pababayaan ng mga magulang ninyo. Hindi kayo nag-iisa. Kaya huwag kayong matakot dahil maraming mga bagong uh, bagay na ituturo sa inyo. Maraming bagong tinatawag nila na challenges na haharapin ninyo. Pero hindi nakakatakot. Dapat ma-excited kayo. Dahil iba na ang inyong pag-aralan. Iba na ang pamamaraan sa pag-aaral. At saka siguro maging mas mabuti kayong citizen kaysa aming mga lola, lolo at mami, daddy ninyo ngayon. So once again, congratulations para sa mag-aakyat from elementary hanggang magpunta na sila sa junior high school. Yung galing sa junior high school na magpupunta sa senior high school at ang senior high school na pupunta na sa vocational, mag-specialized uh, training o magtrabaho o pupunta sa universidad. Congratulations to each and every one of you. It's a new world that you are facing. Siguro sa mga view, hindi ako sigurado sa mga elementary uh, students pero sa mga junior high at saka element uh, sa senior high, alam niyo yung pelikula ni Alaiden. Si Alaiden, mayroong magic rug, di ba? Sumasakay sila, nagbilipad sila kasama si Fred, Princess Yasmin. At saka ang kinakanta nila, a whole new world. You are now leaving your school. You are entering a whole new world. But do not be afraid. Because you will not be alone. Your teachers will always be with you. Your government will always see to it that you will be educated. Your family will be with you. And most important, God will be with you. So God be with you. Do not be afraid. These are wonderful times. Congratulations 
sa isa't isa sa inyong lahat. Thank you. This pandemic may have temporarily stopped us from doing the usual, but not for the members of the Junior Ambassadors of Music in completing and recording of the batch song entitled Muli, with words and music by John Raven Alianige, Shasmin J. Lapos, Arens Jaira Yumul, Christian Jean Calaguas, and Clarice Jean Santos. Sa una pa lang, hindi akalain Landas natin ay pagtatagpuin Tinahak ang dang ito kahit di alam Kung saan patungo Pagkakaibigang ating binuo Mga alaalang hindi maglalaho Sama-sama natin uwitin at balikan, pinagsamahan natin Okay, sarap na mga lalahanin Mga ngiti at luwa, iiwan na natin Okay, bilis naman ng panahon Sa isang iglap, lumipas na ang kahapon Parang kailan lang ng unang magpakilala Kailan lang ng unang kumain magkasama Ngunit hindi pa ito huli Dahil tayo ay magkikita pang muli Balikan, pinagsamahan natin Okay, sarap ng mga lalahanin Mga ngiti at luwa, iiwan na natin Okay, bilis naman ang panahon Sa isang iklap, lumipas na ang kahapon Kung pwede lang muling Kamay, ating simulan Ang panibagong paglalapay Hawa kumay, sabay-sabay Patuo sa pangarap Hawa kamay, ating simulan Ang panibagong paglalapay Hawa kamay, sabay-sabay Patungo sa pangarap Okay, sarap ng mga lalahanin Mga ngiti at luway iiwan na natin Okay, bilis naman ang panahon Sa isang ilap lumipas na ang kahapon Kailan lang ang unang kumain magkasama Parang kailan lang ang unang maraming tawa At ngayon di mapigilan ang mga luha Ngunit hindi pa ito ang huli Sabay-sabay natin aapati Ang nainasan nating bituin Dahil tayo ay Magkikita pang muli
Makikita pa muli Dahil tayo ay Makikita pa Muli Enjoying success requires the ability to adapt. Only by being open to change will you have a true opportunity to the most of your talent. Completers of Batch 2020, the world has changed. It is up to you to rebuild what is still left. May your community and education be your priority. This has been your Master of Ceremony, Mrs. Sandy Fatima Siniklat. Congratulations and God bless us all.